21 million Americans have at least one addiction, yet only 10% seek treatment. The U.S. economy spends over $600 billion every single year on drug and alcohol abuse. 70% of people who are struggling with drug and alcohol abuse are employed full time. So these are our Uber and Lyft drivers, construction workers, our mail carriers, our Delta pilots. I mean, you and I, we interact with them on a daily basis. And so that's where iGage comes into place and we wanna make these communities safer. Hello, my name is Dr. LaVonda Brown, and I'm the founder and CEO of iGage. iGage uses computer vision technology to determine drug and alcohol levels by analyzing eyes. iGage started about 10 years ago during my PhD program at Georgia Tech. During the time, I was developing a robotic educational agent, or tutor, to teach kids math. And so during that process, one of the metrics that we used was eye tracking. And so we would use the look at the student's eyes to determine how engaged they were while they were taking a math test. Um, moving forward, I did a postdoc at Emory University where I did the same eye tracking, but for the application of early onset Alzheimer's detection. The patients would look at a series of images, uh, the original images actually from the High Museum of Art, and we would slightly alter them, maybe remove a mailbox or move the mailbox and we would look at how the patient scanned the images with their eyes. Essentially, if the patient looked at the changed image as if it was a novel image, then that told us something about any mild cognitive impairment that the patient would have. While at Emory University, I lived with a loved one who had a drinking problem. And so it was second nature to come home from analyzing eyes at the Alzheimer's clinic and to look at my loved one's eyes. I would notice that his eyes were red, glossed over, and slow to respond. And so at the time, I was not thinking about eye gauge. It was the last thing on my mind. Uh, but that experience is what brought us here today. I later wanna, went on to get my MBA from Georgia Tech years later. And during that experience, I knew that I wanted to do eye tracking and I thought it would be for education. But after doing some market research and really analyzing the experience I had on that personal aspect, I am passionate about drug and alcohol abuse and eye tracking is a reputable application. And so that's how I ended up in this space. The eye gauge technology is primarily software but our first platform that we're using is mobile devices. Mobile devices are already used in a lot of the processes um, for high-risk environments. Let's say if it's a construction site or manufacturing, they have to sign in on a tablet. And this is just from conversations that we've had. So here's the app. And what we do first is we first get a picture of the eyes. And then we get a short video. And so on the short video, we're looking for how your pupils respond and things like that, that we can't capture in the visual. One of our features would let the student or the individual know whether or not they should drive. We would provide options like Uber and Lyft. So we are still developing the technology. Um, our algorithms are based on machine learning. And so what that means is we need to collect a lot of data in order to increase the accuracy of our algorithms. For every demographic background, we wanna have a subset of data that we can compare their eyes to. But we'll have regular events on a monthly and bi-weekly basis where we're giving people alcohol and monitoring their blood alcohol concentration with a breathalyzer and an optional blood test, getting pictures and videos of their eyes as they go up to 0.08, the legal limit, and we bring them back down. I am a sole founder, and a lot of startup companies, they have co-founders, they have a team and people who are dedicated to you know, the vision of the business. And I would say that that's one of the challenges because I don't have that. I don't have a co-founder. I don't have somebody who I can you know, call at two, three in the morning and talk eye gauge you know, lingo. Um, but what I will say is I built a team of advisors around me to take up, to kind of remove that challenge. And they're all trailblazers in their own individual fields, but I can reach out to them and they give me that expert advice and knowledge that I need in order to take the business to the next level. Well, what I learned um, while working in this space, whether it was academia or you know here as an entrepreneur is just find what you're passionate about and everything else will come. Because if you're passionate about it, staying up all night, you know, it's like water under the bridge. 